Hey guys, uh, Dr. Chris Park here. And um, if you're new here, I will bring your attention to this sign that says Fashion Designs. And this sign that says Open, and that is just a closet. And there's no fashion designs in there. Um, just a bunch of backpacks. So uh, one of my daughters did that. And you'll find signs like this all over our house. Um, so anyway, but let's get to the point. Hey guys, um, sitting here in the office, had a patient reschedule, so I got a little time. Thought I'd talk to you. Got my Doctor Who coffee mug. Um, I recorded this uh, same video, or at least um, what I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, I guess about a week ago, but uh, it didn't really turn out right. Uh, I think I kind of got lost in the weeds talking. So um, what I want to talk about today, though, is how to taper off Suboxone in 16 weeks. So if you're not taking Suboxone, you do not have to watch this video. Um, it's going to be boring to you. So, all right. But what I did was I came up with a template to be used um, starting with the highest dose of Suboxone going to, to nothing. So from 24 milligrams a day, which will be three Suboxone strips or buprenorphine tablets, to zero milligrams a day in 16 weeks. Now, who is this for? So this would be for anybody, obviously, who is taking this medication and is wanting to taper off. Um, it's for someone who's maybe looking for an intermediate taper schedule, so it's not super quick and it's not super long either. Uh, 16 weeks is four months, and so a lot of people think, ah, that's a long schedule, but if you're on this medication, many people have been on this medication for two to three years and are just now looking at uh, thinking about trying to stop it. So there's no reason to stop it overnight if you've been on it that long. Now, I will say that this is not medical advice. This is a template that I use uh, with some of my patients, uh, but every patient is different, and I do not like cookie cutter programs or cookie cutter doctors. So um, again, this is just a template that you can talk to your doctor about and see if this would be a good program for you to follow. Um, now, the way I devise this also is that you could technically taper off uh, Suboxone or Buprenorphine with only two prescriptions. So the first prescription being for 90 strips or tablets, and the second prescription being for, for uh, 38. So that would be a total of 128 uh, strips or tablets. So what we do is we start off, let's say you're taking 24 milligrams a day. Uh, you take that every day for a week. That's three tablets or three strips a day for a week. Now, most folks aren't on that high of dose, but I just wanted to start kind of with the basically the max dose just for anybody who is on that high of dose. Obviously, if you're not on that high of dose, then you're going to start lower uh, on the program and could possibly taper off even quicker than the four months, okay? So 16 milligrams, I'm sorry, 24 milligrams a day for a week. Then the next week, you're going to alternate three tablets a day and two and a half tablets a day. So three, two and a half, three, two and a half, three, just like that. So Monday, three tablets. Tuesday, two and a half. Wednesday, you're back to three tablets. Thursday, you're back to two and a half tablets. You get it? Okay. So the next week, you're going to go down to two and a half tablets a day, every day. Okay. Uh, that would be equivalent to 20 milligrams a day. All right. So the next week is one of your bigger jumps. We're not going to alternate. We're just going to then go down to uh, two strips or tablets a day which is 16 milligrams a day. Now at 16 milligrams a day, uh, this is probably the most common dose for people on maintenance therapy. Um, tends to maximize all the receptors needed. So uh, this is where a lot of people will be starting this plan. Um, so at two a day, uh, you will then uh, the next week alternate two and one and a half. So Monday, you're gonna take two strips a day. Tuesday, you will take one and a half strips a day. Thursday, you're going to take two strips a day, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so um, 
the next week, you're going to go down to one and a half every day. Okay. Then the next week, you're going down to one tablet a day. Then the next week, you're going to alternate one tablet and half a tablet. Then the next week, you're going to go down to half a tablet a day. Then the next week, you're going to go down to alternate half a tablet and a fourth of a tablet. All right, so you're kind of seeing the flow of this. Um, now, I'm not going to go through every week, but let's just say when you get down to an eighth of a tablet, that's one milligram a day. You're then going to take one milligram a day for a week, then one milligram every other day for a week, and then you're going to take one milligram every three days for a week. Okay, so that is the 16-week taper down schedule. I didn't give you all the weeks. I mean, you can figure that out yourself. But here's the thing. This is, uh, at whatever point you start having problems, you just don't go backwards. Just stay on that week. So if you start feeling like you're having withdrawal, first of all, write down what you're feeling. Is it withdrawal or is it just anxiety? Because anxiety oftentimes slows people down from tapering off this medication. Just stay there another week. So your 16-week plan may be two year, a two-year plan, okay? Because wherever you stop, that's okay. Just stay there, get comfortable there, and then go to the next week whenever you get ready. So it may be a month later when you go to the next week on the plan, okay? But here's what I see a lot of folks do. They decide they want to taper off the medication, so they go really rapid. Then the next thing you know, they're back to to their starting dose, you know. Um, it's like they take uh, one step forward and then two steps back, right? But if you take two steps forward and one step back, you're still making progress, okay? So just make progress and then hold out the week until you feel comfortable. So if, if when you get down to week three, you're not feeling ready to move on, you just stay there for another week and then reassess. Write down notes to yourself. Figure out how you're feeling. Um, you know what seems to be your limiting factors on, on continuing the tapering down. If you're getting depressed, then maybe uh, you're having some issues with your serotonin, your dopamine levels. Uh, maybe you need to talk about your doctor about your depression. You know, if you're really anxious, maybe you need to talk to your doctor about your anxiety. Again, this program is not to be followed uh, off the street. This program is not to be followed uh, against your current doctor's recommendations. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm me merely starting a conversation um, with you about this. Now, if, uh, if you're brave enough to post comments about uh, any problems you've had with it, you know, share with the group, that's fine. Uh, but please don't feel obligated to um, because, you know, it's your privacy and, and that's, that's uh, up to you. Um, Let's see, what else were we going to talk about? That's the basics, um, the gist. So I just wanted you to understand that the 16-week plan is you follow it until you feel like you need to stay, and then you stay for a little while, and then you keep going down. You know, don't get caught up with what everybody else is doing, especially if you're reading these message boards on the Internet. Uh, there's a lot of people, um, you know, who are going to slam you for even being on Suboxone or Subutex. They're going to say you're in big pharma's pockets. Well, that's just ridiculous. Look, you need to do what you need to do to survive, okay? And you need to do what you need to do for your family. And uh, you need to get yourself, uh, your thinking right. You need to get your uh, depression better. You need to get your anxiety controlled. Um, you need to start living this life, okay? Uh, and you can do that. And uh, you, um, you, you're going to make it through this. I promise you. I've seen many people make it through. Um, and it's, it's very possible, okay? So um, that's it. Now, if you want more information, I'll try to post, uh, like, the actual weeks to follow on my uh, blog sometime soon. Uh, so go to drchrispark.com if you want more information. Uh, you can sign up for my newsletter if you would like to be sent emails occasionally. All right, guys, hope you all have a great day.